it's not a vibe. Without further ado, maybe if my boobs were still like, you know, where they're supposed to be. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we're going to be doing another styling try on haul featuring Shein. So every time I do a Shein haul, everyone's like, you're getting paid to say that, da, da, da. I'm like, no. I bought all this stuff with my own money, all of the opinions are my own, and they're not paying me to say any of this. I have found some really amazing pieces for my spring wardrobe, and then I got a lot of messes too, and I feel like that's kind of the thing with Shein and why I find watching haul videos super helpful with shopping on Shein, because there's a lot of misses, a lot of misses, and there's a couple really good things. So I kind of am trying to weed through the crap and give you what I think are some of the best things. So I'm gonna go through and tell you all my thoughts on things, sizing, everything, all the goods. So everything will be linked down below, including my size, like general sizes, plus the size I ordered and everything, and I'll let you know whether I think you should size up, size down, whether I think it's worth you getting, or if you should just skip it. For every piece, I tried to style it in an outfit so you can kinda get an idea of how I would style each piece. I think it's fun to kind of show you how I would style my Shein pieces because I'm a pretty modest dresser and there's a lot of like out there sort of clothes and I think it's more of like that Forever 21 style where it's just a much younger thing but I, or gem, younger demographic that I target, but I still think there's some really classic, super, super timeless and cute pieces that you can get on Shein. So without further ado, without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the first pair of shoes that I got. So. These sandals right here are inspired by the Alohas. I don't know if Alohas was the original designer of them, but I ordered them last summer and they were horrible on me. They just, I don't think I got the right size. I mean, they're so gorgeous in person, but they were really clunky, pretty heavy. And unfortunately they just didn't work out for me. But when I saw these, I honestly had very low hopes for them, but I'm obsessed. Like they're kind of like, ugly cute I don't know I love Birkenstocks so they are my jam they really I will say a couple different things they don't have anything to get in so you just have to like stretch this over the back which for me is not a problem but I love these I was contemplating getting um black leather Birks for this spring and summer and I'm so happy that I found these because these are the ones that I loved from Aloha's Aloha whatever last season and unfortunately they just didn't work out for me so those are a total win and I'm obsessed the quality is eh but it's still like they're not gonna be an everyday shoe for me they'll probably be a weekly shoe for me and I think that they will definitely hold up being like a weekly shoe for at least two seasons maybe three who knows we'll see and then one last little random -y bit I got this little um kind of linen-y pink shirt for Arlo I think these are so cute I love them in little button-ups these are perfect for like the spring and summer all right let's get into tops I did get quite a few tops and sweaters just because I've never been through a spring where it's like not inherently already like 90 degrees like Dallas is so it's gonna be a little bit interesting so I wanted to grab some like light sweaters and just fun tops to kind of move into spring even though it's literally snowing outside this top is so cute in theory and i used to wear tops like this all the time it just didn't have quite enough coverage for me i'm thinking of trying a little lacy bralette underneath it to see but i feel like if i went too crazy i would get a little bit of a nippy slippy you know so this is adorable though i love the little ruffles i love the tie i wish i had like two ties and then i would feel probably more comfortable in it um but if you're like in college and you're just doing your thing going out to bars and whatever this would be a super cute top um i just feel like a little exposed for it but in theory i thought it would be super cute but it kind of missed the mark a little bit with me so i'm gonna try with a bralette and see but at this point, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Okay, this top I saw on some girl I follow on TikTok and I loved it. She got hers on Amazon, but um, it was on Shein for a lot cheaper. And I wanted to love this, but, but I'm just not a cropped girl. If this was a little bit longer and I could tuck it into jeans or trousers, yes i love the lace this is actually really nice it has like boning and um underwire in the um, boob area which is really nice it does hold it up i got a medium because i do feel like i have an issue with the cup pads being big enough um yeah it's cute it's just like eh, like a little too much outside of my comfort zone but i thought it would be cute for like a 
kind of date situation. I wouldn't wear that like going to the grocery store, <laughs> but I thought it would be cute. I'm like a jeans and a cute top sort of girl when I like actually get dressed for something other than just like normal day-to-day -day activities. So I thought that would be a cute top, but I think it kind of missed the mark for me. We're just gonna continue with things that really missed the market mark for me in this. I love this in theory as well. I'm very into the whole like idea of sweater with like jeans, just like super, like sweater as a top sort of thing. Sweater as a top, cardigan as a top sort of thing. And this was cute. It was just too booby, <laughs> it was much too booby. Um, maybe if my boobs were still like, you know, where they're supposed to be, but uh, my toddler, definitely makes that impossible now. So yeah, this is so cute. If you've still got perky little coconuts, then give this shirt a go and I will live vicariously through you. But the quality is really nice. It's soft, it's stretchy, I really like this. Um, unfortunately, it just doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> Neither did this. This was like an epic fail. Mm. No, absolutely not. But the top that I'm wearing currently right now, this was what I had envisioned for both of those other things is that sort of idea of like cardigan with buttons, just kind of like as a shirt and then just like jeans and like a casual, just comfy shoe. I think that is like so my style going into spring, just kind of that like lightweight, carefree, but still like comfy. This sweater is nice. I like the little, um, split at the bottom. I think it's super cute. You can button more, button less. Um, it's really soft. It's comfy. I like it. And normally I'm not a v-neck cardigan girl, but I like this one. Moving along onto sweaters. I just needed a basic, plain, completely plain white crew neck sweater. And this one's really good. This is from their Daisy line, I believe. Yeah, Daisy. Their stuff runs so small. This is a large y'all. Like, I would have even gone to an extra large, but I didn't know how big it would be. I would have sized up to an extra large, but I'm keeping this. I love the material of this. It's soft. It's just a basic, plain, white, creamy sort of color with no like ribbing, no cable, no nothing, just perfect and clean and I love it. This is my favorite sweater, like all time. I love cardigans that go all the way up. I love stripes. So here we are. One thing I will say is the sleeves are kind of short, but I plan to, I like to roll up my sleeves with my cardigans anyways. I just think it gives a more carefree sort of look and like a styled look. Um, I don't know, I like it. But this, it's not a big deal. I just roll up the sleeves and it's so cute. I love this thing. I'm gonna be wearing the heck out of it. It is my new favorite sweater of all time. It's navy blue stripes. The stripes are actually kind of like textured and come out a little bit. I think this is perfect for the springtime. I'm obsessed. Something I noticed that I really don't have a ton of are like l like long cardigans. I wanna be able to wear them with denim shorts and so on and so forth. So I wanted just like a light neutral sort of brownie sort of, sort of color to add to my wardrobe. I feel like I will wear this springs, fall, all the seasons that are kind of in between transient a little bit. So I love this one. It's nice, it's floor length, it's super soft. I love the color of it. They do have other colors as well, but I'm really happy I have that. And I think that'll look really cute with denim jeans, uh, or denim, yeah, jeans, denim shorts, so on and so forth. I just feel like it'll be like a cute sort of layering piece to kind of cover up just a little bit or add some warmth. All right, this piece <laughs> was a fail. Not because it's not really good quality, cause it is. It's so soft. It's thick, like a sweater, like very thick. And I thought this would give that whole like jacket trend. I think it's called like a bouncy, I don't know. I'll leave a picture of like what I was hoping it would be. And when I got it, it literally looks like, it looks cute. Okay, on the hanger, like everything, I was like, this is cute. On me, it looks like horrible. I think also the things that look horrible are the buttons look really cheap, cause they're plastic, and like the gold like strings. But besides that, like if this was in like black and the metals, buttons were metal and there was no like metallic-y string, I think it would be adorable. Unfortunately, it really messed the mark for me. Um, okay, this top, I actually first pulled it out of the bag and I was like, that's way brighter than I wanted it to be. And it's like not soft. And I was like, this is terrible. But when I put it on, I was like, this is nice. I like the shape of this a lot. I like how it's kind of cropped, but not too cropped. I like the giant, um, 
design in the front as well as on the sleeves. I think it's really cute. It is like neon neon i don't think i'm gonna keep that piece honestly because i don't like the material of it and i feel like it would just be really rough on my skin and i do already have two orange sweaters already so i don't know really what i was thinking why i needed that one but i would pass on that this little top i feel like i sized up in this and it's still very small um the material doesn't feel nice like when you're touching it um this would be really cute if you were in the office and needed like a professional top to wear i was just gonna wear it casually with a pair of jeans because i think it's cute a little mock neck and whatnot but i would want it to be more oversized to be honest with you i want it to be a little bit looser but it is cute and when you put it on your body it doesn't feel itchy or scratchy so i do think it's a really nice top if you're looking for more of like a professional sort of top to wear to the office and whatnot for a really good price but size up I would say at least two to three sizes like I'm serious I feel like it's just kind of um, small and short their daisy line I want to say is targeted towards like like smaller sizes like Asian sizes which can tend to run a little bit smaller so definitely size up all right this top I'm like meh about honestly <laughs> I like uh, the coloring of it. I love this blue for spring and summer. I'm really into this color blue and I already love orange. It's nice. It's soft. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like thick and squishy. I just thought it would look a little bit nicer than it did. Um, when I got it, I had thought of all of these different ideas and ways I was going to style it. And once I got it, I was like, I don't really want to wear it any of those ways. So that's kind of why it's a no for me, a pass for me. But it, in general, I think the print and everything looks more expensive than it is. It's just kind of like, hmm, I could take it or leave it. So I'm probably going to leave it. This sweater though, bubblegum pink is my new favorite color. It's my new favorite. This sweater is so good. If they had this in other colors, I would run and grab just about every color that they made. I will say the sweater itself isn't super soft. It's not itchy, but it's not like overly buttery, buttery soft. I have washed this already. Um, I didn't dry it. I just line dried it, but, or like in the dryer, but the oversizedness of this, the slouchiness, the fit, everything about it, I'm obsessed with. Um, just know that it's not like the most softest, coziest sweater. I just love the fit and the color, which is why I would get others if, if they were available but for now I think that's the only one and I love that sweater I love the color and I love the way it fits so I am most definitely gonna wear that a ton this summer with like denim shorts um jeans I just think it's like the perfect transition spring piece like ever all right I'm not a huge dress girl but I saw this dress and I was like that's really cute I didn't realize that it was gonna be completely unlined I don't know why I didn't realize that it's not a problem I have a white little slip dress that I can put underneath it which I showed you I liked it belted it is quite wide but I do think that I sized up oh no I just got a small um I love eyelet detailing I think it's so feminine so cute the length of this is amazing it's long the sleeves are long it's a very like classy dress um and I love the eyelet. I think it's very pretty, very fun from spring into summer, depending on where you live um, in your climate. But I really did like this and I liked the scalloped edge. It, the scalloped edge kind of is giving me like Flintstone vibes, but I still love it. I think I have one other, like I have an eyelet top in the same kind of material from Shein that I love as well. So it's really cute, nice, nice quality no qualms about that just know that it doesn't come with any sort of lining so you will need to provide your own sort of slip dress underneath it i'm not sure what i was thinking with these to be honest with you um they're really cute in theory they're like paper thin like i can see you through this you probably can't see me through it but i can see you through it i love the green and white gingham they're just so freaking sheer and they're a bit snug i think if you sized up it would be okay but you'd have to wear like super super nude undergarments um so yeah those are those are a pass all right the next pair of pants that i got were these little cargos i'm weirdly like really into cargos now these honestly i thought were gonna be full length and i'm pretty sure on the model they were full length but for me they were not they were floods but i thought that was cute with like birkenstocks or clogs i will say these fit nicely in my waist area but they were tiny bit like snug in my thigh and hip area so i would probably size up i'm gonna try these in a in the next size up i got them in a size four um 
which is a small. So I'm typically a 26 in most of my pants, so I thought this would be fine, but unfortunately, it's a tiny bit too snug in my hip or in my like hips and thighs. Uh, but I love the material of this. It's like a true like cargo canvas sort of material. I love the color. I loved everything about those more than I thought I would on the hunt for some new denim shorts. I really only wear about like three pairs of my denim shorts that I own. I love them. I love long shorts and I'm, I'm going to be doing a whole video about like, like a denim short throwdown, which has the best brands from all different price ranges. But I did want to try a pair from Shein and these honestly were better than I had expected. Fit nice in the waist. Um, fit nice in the hips, everything about them. They're quite A-line, so they go taper in at the waist and then taper out a little bit at the ends. They've got some distressing on one leg and then as well towards the bottom of the other one. The only thing that's like kind of weird is I feel like the pockets are just very small and very high up on my upper butt. <laughs> so it's not like the most flattering bum region, but overall, like I'm not mad at these at all. I think they're a really affordable, great option if you're looking for denim shorts that aren't like hanging booty cheek out, like a more modest sort of denim short. I thought these were really cute, especially with that long cardigan. I don't know, I just really enjoyed that look. And I just feel like a lot of people either hate or love denim shorts. And if you're a hater of denim shorts, try a longer length and see if it makes you feel more comfortable. Cause for me, that was like a game changer. Um, I'm not self-conscious about my legs. I just don't like feeling like everything's exposed if I sit down. I don't like that feeling. So try a longer line. I really was happy with the um, length of these. I would say they're about five inches, six inches maybe. And they're nice. They're not stretchy. They're like a thick denim um, and they're like a light wash. Okay, I have been like fallen head over heels in love with my like sweat sets, sweatsuit things. I love getting them from H&M. And then I recently did get a top, not bottom, cause I got the bottoms from H&M, but then I got the top from Shein and I love the sweatshirt that I have, it's gray. I wear it like a couple times a week, it's my favorite. So when I saw that they have this sweatsuit, I was like, yes, I want it. Um, but unfortunately it's not like cottony. I don't even know how to explain this material. It's like where it's, a polyester, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, it's 100% polyester. So it's not breathable and it's not, it's not soft. Like it's soft, but it's like, you know when you have like calluses on your hands and it like catches on the material, that's it. This color though is everything. It makes me really want a sweatsuit in this color. Like I need it. Um, this like dark forest hunter green is like my everything. But unfortunately, it just feels very not great and it had good reviews so that's why I tried it out but I would skip on this you guys unless you're looking for a sweat set that's like an out of the house just made to look cute but not be overly comfortable I don't understand why you would want something like that but if you do this is an option it's so cheap but it feels really cheap um it doesn't look that cheap on it just feels cheap and if anyone touched it it'd be like what the heck is that it's just not not everything it needs to be okay and then last but not least I've seen these pajamas on Amazon and they've been sold out I've seen them all over different influencers and I'm like I need those it's giving like rich housewife just sipping champagne I don't know what it is but I love it okay it's these jammies I got these in a large because I just did not want them to be high waters and I would say even the large is not that big so size way the heck up these green emerald green tiger polka dotted pajamas they're satiny they're everything they're perfect i love these i'm totally keeping these um yes they're comfy they're like they're polyester so they're not going to be super breathable so i won't probably wear these to bed but they'll be kind of like a cozy around the house um sort of lounge set and everything or like when i'm getting ready to like leave or whatever doing makeup hair this is what I would throw on. It comes with the top that is buttoned. This honestly is much nicer quality than I thought it was going to be. There's like piping detail to match the tigers. And again, I got the top you can, top and bottom you can only get in one size. So I got it in a large and it fits perfectly. And then there's little rhinestones on the buttons. I don't know why, but they're there. But I love that set. I think it's so precious and so cute. And like I said, I've been hunting one down like that for a while off Amazon. And when I found this one, I was like, yes. 
added to the cart. So that's it. That's everything. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, obviously some good hits in terms of like the sweaters that I found and then some some pretty big misses. So I like making these videos obviously to help you guys out. I know this site can be so overwhelming and also just seem like you can't really get sort of like staples or modest clothing on there, but that's just not the case. You can get them at an affordable rate. So again, all the things that I mentioned will be in the description box down below if you're curious to check anything out. When in doubt on this site, size up. Just size up. A much more oversized fit is going to look better than just something that's like skin tight. So in my opinion anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed, found this video helpful, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.